Hi everyone. Oh, we got puppies finally. Well, it started labor Saturday night, and by morning on Sunday, she had ten of them. Three didn't make it because she did squish them accidentally. She ended up making her den out in the pasture under some of the junipers, and no offense to her, but I would have made my den a lot bigger. So she had them kind of cramped in there, and unfortunately we did lose a couple of them. Uh, she will not let us sex them, but we do know that there are two females. One is going to Camp Birdie, and then uh, we didn't know she was going to have so many, so we'll start taking everyone who wants them now. We didn't want to put in reservations if she had like two of them. Uh, we're going to keep one of them at least, um, because, you know... We'd like to move to a bigger property sometime in the future, and we'll need more help with that. Um, and then we also are waiting on our appointment for the liver biopsy for the goats for the supposed copper deficiency that we're having that's almost to an extreme point. Uh, with, we, we decided if this isn't corrected, or nothing comes of all of our testing that we are going to sell the goats. Um, I know there's a few people out there that probably would want to keep them for breeding for their own herd for a while and lease them. Maybe until we move somewhere else. Because this has just been a battle ever since we moved here. The last two years. And so, or at least if we sell anyone, it would probably be... The goats who are doing the worst here, who seem to be suffering most, and that would be Agnes and Guinness. They are doing really bad. They are very skinny. The vet advised us to do copper bolus every two weeks. So we've hit the two-week mark again, and we're going to give them that this weekend and hope that something changes before, you know, it, it won't show that fast on the lab test because the copper bolus is designed to work over time. But we're going to do it again this week because she said it's so severe that every two weeks isn't going to hurt them. And that they're going to need that much to actually catch up and get their levels back to a point where they can start to recover. So we're trying that and then when the mineral biopsy you know comes back then we'll see how much of everything, what the levels are, how we need to dose, what we need to dose, and for how long to get everybody back where they need to be. Because right now they look horrible. And, you know, we want to go to the Big May show, but I don't think anybody's going to look good enough to go. They just won't. I have a fresh freshener that I want to take. We got two bucks that look really nice. We got babies that could go if anyone wants the bucklings or anything that's for sale or even the puppies we can bring them down to the may show um it's been super frustrating we just it's a hard decision but it's probably better off that the goats don't live here anymore if we can't fix the problem so there's that but anyway i have some videos of the puppies. Violet won't really let us get in there. She went out for a quick potty break and we tried to raid the nest and she came back and she she jumped her little gate and she said nope and took the puppies back from us. So we're trying to get her to eat but she is so hyper focused on the puppies. She ate a little bit and um, she might have drank water through the night. She's just she's being a very good mom but super vigilant. So they they're available if anybody wants them. They are half Akbash, and then the rest is Pyrenees and Anatolian Shepherd. I was hoping for some all white ones so they look more Akbashy, but they all look like Dad with they have hip and shoulder patch and they're badger faced. So that's that. If anyone wants any, and then I guess if anyone's interested in the goats, if we potentially decide to sell the herd, inquire within. Yeah, you fell all the way in that bucket, didn't you? There was no more you left. 
You went bye bye. Oh, well, you're gonna have to get one yourself. I guess you're on baby duty, mom just left. Oh. Which one do you want? Oh, you want the big spotted one? Oh boy. Careful. What's that one? Boy. What you got that one? See, careful, watch your one foot. Girl. Sounds like mom's coming back. We're running out of time. That was a short potty break. It's a boy. It's alright, Violet. Hang on, we're checking him out. <laughs> oh, she's, she's coming back in. <laughs> Let her take him back. She won't let us sex the babies. Was your heart breaking there? She's putting them all back on the boob so you feed them again. See? Well, I know that there's... Two females. One's going to Camp Birdie. We didn't take reservations on the litter because we didn't know how many she was going to have. And she ended up having ten. So. Now we'll get everybody in line for him. He's got some more food for you, girl. Finally got her out to get a potty break and now she's... Get out of her face. Now she's... Starting to munch if he gives her food. She's alright. She needs to not be lazy and get up. Thank you. She's a good mom.